flow rate example. Um, I have an IV, well, I should say IV bag that contained a thousand milliliters of solution, and it was started at one o'clock p.m. and ran until five p.m. with a flow rate of 25 drops per minute. And and so <coughs> at five o'clock p.m., the bag contained 400 milliliters. So there's 400 milliliters left in the bag at five o'clock. And they want us to find the drop factor and determine what time the entire bag will be drained. Well, we want to find the drop factor because if we can find the drop fa factor, we can figure out how long it'll take to drain the whole entire bag. Uh, you can do this in a couple of ways. You could do this using that formula that's in your book that I presented to you at the very beginning of the, this section. Or we can, again, use just dimensional analysis. If I'm looking for the drop factor, Remember what the drop factor was? It was the drops to make one cc, right? Drops per cc, or milliliter. Milliliter and cc are um, one cc per one milliliter. So <coughs> this is where I'm headed. Let's look at what information I have. They told me the flow rate was, so I know the flow rate is 25 drops per minute. And I want drops, I just, I want volume, not time. So I'm going to need to use the, some more information that I have. Okay, so the other information I have is that between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., I've got, I, my bag drained to 400 milliliters. So if I put that information together, um, how much time passes between uh, 1 p.m., to 5 p.m., well, you can count on your fingers, <laughs> or you can do 5 minus 1. 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, that's 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, so 4 hours, okay, so in 4 hours, and then there's 400 milliliters left, can I figure out how much was used? Well, I started with 1,000, and there's 400 left, so if I take away that 400 left, that'll give me how much was used in that four hours. So I've got another conversion factor here. I have, I used 600 milliliters in four hours, okay? Um, and then I also have a conversion factor of 25 drops per minute. Well, we're almost there. Uh, we got to switch things around a little bit, right? We want the time to cancel, and we want drops. If we can get it drops per milliliter, we can convert that um, into cc's, and we have our, our nice conversion factor. So instead of saying, well, this is still drops per minute, instead of multiplying by... <coughs> the hours on the bottom here, if we do the milliliters on the bottom and four hours on the top, we're almost there. What's the problem? We've got hours. If, can we change this into minutes? You bet. So if we do 60 minutes per hour, that's going to convert this guy to, um, <coughs> it's going to convert this to minutes. So we can reduce this guy. So that leaves us 60 goes into 600 10 times, right? And then we can reduce further. We have the 4 and the 10. Is it math 1? And then 25 and 5. So you should end up with 10 because well, all we're going to be left with is the 2 times the 5. And you could put this in your calculator. 60 times 4 times 25 and divide by 600 if that's easier for you than playing the fractions game. So it sh you should end up with 10 drops per minute. So we're almost there. This is our, we, got, we have our drop factor. We got our, no, excuse me, drops per milliliter. Sorry about that. Wait a minute, that's not the drop factor. So 10 drops per milliliter. This is our drop, drop, or almost our drop factor, I guess I should say. Um, 
we know that one milliliter per cc, our milliliters cancel, we have 10 drops per cc. Um, for our purposes, it's actually easier to leave it as milliliters because we're just going to convert it back to milliliters to begin with. So, <clears throat> but they'll want to know the drop factor in drops per cc, uh, but it's... It, for what we're going to do, we're going to use drops per milliliter because we want to know how long it takes to drain. That's the second part of this question. How long does it take for the entire bag to be drained? So how long is it going to take for the, to drain the entire thousand milliliters? So all we have to do is take our thousand milliliters, right? Multiply by the number of Um, how many by our drop factor. So basically what we're doing is converting this to drops so we can figure out how many minutes it's going to take. So a thousand milliliters times 10 drops per, um, I'm going to leave it as milliliters so my milliliters are cancel. Right? And then I know that the flow rate is 25 drops per minute, um, but that's not what we want because what do we want? We want our drops to cancel out, so we want our factor to go the other way with the drops on the bottom. So 25 drops per minute. Okay. Um, <coughs> you could go, I'm going to erase this, you could go a little further um, and put this in per hour, but let's just work with what we have here. Uh, <clears throat> so we have 25 goes into 1,040 times, times 10, so you should get 400 minutes, right? But we probably don't, we don't want to count 400 minutes from 1 o'clock. We want to turn this into hours, so 400 minutes, um, and we know it's one hour per 60 minutes. So we take our 400 and divide by 60. So 60 goes into 400. I'm going to have to go. Right. So, well, we could. 10 goes into both of these. Let's, let's do it the fraction way. 6, and that makes this 40. 6 goes into 40 6 times. So you'll have 6 and with 4 left over, 4, 6 hours. Um, so that makes this 6 hours, and 4, 6 is the same thing as 2 thirds. Right? Um, you could it helps to see it written down. We could reduce this fraction. So we have two-thirds of an hour, and we want to convert this to minutes. Again, you would, you're basically converting this part back to minutes. Um, and you would end up, when you reduce this, you get, sorry, that should say minutes up there, 40 minutes. So you have six hours and 40 minutes. Okay, and so six hours from one o'clock would be seven o'clock and then 40 minutes more, so that would be 740, ran out of room. So my answer should be 740 p.m. is when the bag will be completely drained. So that's a multi-step problem, and I would say start out, when you're trying to figure out the, the drop factor, look at the units you're trying to get. So we want drops per cc, and then see how you can use the information you have to create conversion factors that you can multiply by to cancel out units to end up with that drop per cc. It's kind of a little bit like a chess game or something you're trying to figure out, strategize how you're going to multiply these factors together to get the um, units that you need to have.